Hi, so those of you who have seen my videos before, you know I'm a big fan of Ultra Boost, Adidas Ultra Boost. So I got very excited and also very skeptical when I saw that they have the Laceless Ultra Boost. Now I just had to try them. Um, I'm not really sure how good this is for running because of the stability issues maybe, but uh, I, I was very excited to, to give them a shot. So I got the Laceless Ultra Boost. Now for uh, for those of you who are thinking now, oh, not another shoe video, he's gonna be talking about his new shoes in this whole video. Um, I, I have a little incentive for you to stick around and watch this video. We have a new family member and he's been around for a little bit, but uh, today's gonna be the day that I'll introduce him to you. And he's bigger than the cats, so stick around for that. So this is the Ultra Boost Laceless. It's very similar to the regular Ultra Boost, except that it doesn't have laces. So um, if you look at the bottom, the sole is the same, the continental sole, the torsion system is the same. This is the regular Ultra Boost, it's the same, except that it's a different color. Um, the boost sole, the, the heel, everything except for the material is a little different. And the top part here, the rip part is not just there because it's just style. It's the part that uh, replaces the, the caging of the Ultra Boost and the, the, the way you'd normally lace it. So this has to be a little tighter than the, the rest of the, the shoe. So th this is basically what gives you the only stability from the, from the top part uh, that is different from the Ultra Boost the regular Ultra Boost with laces. And of course this part is uh, like the, the sock part that uh, just fits around your fit. All right, let's try them on. Now I read a lot online of people uh, saying, oh, I, I prefer wearing them uh, with socks or uh, I prefer wearing them without socks. Um, so I figured I'd, I'd try both. Now with or without socks, uh, both is very comfortable. I think that for running I would prefer wearing it with a sock. Uh, uh, I do notice that with my toes um, you have to have your nails clipped uh, properly because otherwise uh, you might s snag them on the inside of your shoe a little bit. But other than that it's very comfortable without the sock. I think if you would wear them casually you would wear them without socks. But I wear them to go running, so I, I prefer a sock just for the, the sweating and everything. All right, enough talking about the shoes, let's go try them out. Okay, I'm 5K into my run. Uh, it's about three miles. Now, uh, I can't really tell the difference between the laceless Ultra Boost and the regular Ultra Boost that I wear. So that's a good thing. Because uh, I thought stability-wise, it would, it would maybe be an issue uh, for the comfort because the, the top that's the material it's uh, it's a little harder, but no comfort stability. It feels the same, so I'm very happily surprised. I uh, I have to say that I'm one of those people who's too lazy to lace up their shoes. A couple years back, there was a company on Kickstarter that had these elastic laces that you lace your shoes up with, and then you can just slip on your shoes. Now I bought those laces because I'm lazy. And uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't use them on running shoes because it would it still leave your your shoes open too much and 
your foot can move around. But these shoes are made for it. They're made to wear without laces because there's no place to put laces. But still, I, I was kind of skeptical. But yeah, yeah, very stable, very comfortable. I love these shoes. If you've seen my uh, my review for the Solar Boost, uh, I mentioned that it uh, really snaps around your foot. It's elastic, and uh, I just like that feeling that it just fits around your foot really well. This shoe has the same thing. It just it's like putting on a sock. I know there's a lot of people that probably don't like that because uh, uh, it means that. The shoe comes up a little higher and it, it goes around your ankle a little bit but i actually do like that I, I like that it closes off it just snaps to your foot and and it's like putting on a sock but it's a shoe so yeah another plus for the laceless ultra boost as far as i'm concerned On my runs, I always loved that I run into different animals. I see a lot of bunnies lately on my runs. They're always very small, they're tiny bunnies. And uh, with a GoPro, you can't really see them because they're small and they're far away. I saw a hare once, he was pretty big. But even this hare is not as big as my new friend Jabba. So I promised you that I was going to introduce you to another family member, our newest family member. And I think around the end of last year, I introduced you to uh, Obi-Wan and BB-8, which are our little uh, dwarf bunnies. Uh, we have a new bunny, and this is not a dwarf. This one's a giant. It's a Flemish giant, and his name is Jabba. Of course, they have to have a Star Wars name. So uh, Jabba, come here. Now that is Jabba. Hey Jabba, what you doing? Jabba's a, a, a friendly giant. He likes to run around, sniff on everything. He's a, he likes to explore. And if he's not exploring, he's just laying out. And uh, is either running around sniffing on everything or relaxing. Hey, friendly giant. Hey, buddy. So this is Java. Hey, yeah. Okay, maybe it's a little bit too early for a final verdict because it's only been one run. But so far, I can't tell a difference between these and my regular Ultra Boost. Very comfortable. They feel very stable. I don't feel my foot moving around. So I'm guessing the top part of the shoe does what it's supposed to. And it's keeping my foot in place. 
Um, of course, after using them a couple of times, after running for, uh, on them for six months, that might change. I don't know if it's going to stretch or if it's going to do something to the shoe. But my, uh, my initial findings are that I'm very happily surprised. I was kind of skeptical and I didn't think they would feel the same way as my regular Ultra Boost, but they do. They're, uh, they're very comfortable. And for someone too lazy to tie up their shoes, they're awesome. If you're a, a regular viewer of this vlog, you may have noticed there's a lot of construction going on in this area lately. Uh, it's been going on for a while actually. I think uh, it's been over a year now. They're uh, preparing for a battle reenactment that is uh, finally happening this weekend. It's uh, the, the Battle of Flyninga, which happened in uh, 1018. See, that's one of the trucks. Uh, it happened in 1018. So that's uh, a thousand years ago this year. So we're having a big reenactment. And I guess if you're from the States, that's not a big deal. You have a lot of those uh, Civil War reenactments uh, here. That doesn't happen a lot. And people are coming from all over Europe to uh, participate in it and to come uh, watch it. So uh, I think they have about a thousand people participating in something crazy. It's the biggest one in, in Europe. And uh, it's, it's gonna be a huge event. It's gonna be uh, two days of the reenactment and I'll be there uh, filming a little bit. So hopefully I'll be able to show parts of it uh, next week on the videos. Friday, however, there's uh, the Flyings Film Festival. It's the film festival that I put on and that I made a uh, film for that's kind of connected to the vlog. So if you're in the Netherlands, uh, I'll leave a link below with a link to the website uh, so you can buy a ticket and come uh, watch the films. If you're not in the Netherlands, I will be posting the film on Saturday so you can watch the film. And if you're a, a, a viewer of this vlog, then I think uh, you'll enjoy it. So stick around for that, subscribe to the channel, click on the little bell down below so uh, you get a notification when the new uh, videos are up. And until next time, get out there and run.